Hello there, David here. Welcome back to my channel for another video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to add additional SATA ports to your Unraid server or to any computer when you run out of SATA ports. And we're going to accomplish this by installing this. This is a PCI SATA 2 controller card. Let's get into it. If you're anything like me, then your first Unraid server was most likely a repurposed desktop PC. Currently in my server, I have two 3TB hard drives, one of which is the parity drive and the other one is the data drive. The other two SATA ports are being used up by the two SSDs that are used in the cache pool. Now if I want to expand my array, I need to add this card so that I can have additional ports. Anytime you're messing with the hardware in your Unraid server, it's recommended to use the shutdown button. This will stop all VMs and all Docker containers and safely shut down the computer. This little card could be found anywhere online for between $20 to $30. I will leave a list of all compatible cards in the description below. This card that I'm using is a 1x slot, meaning it takes up the little slots in your PC. My case only had two hard drive bays, which means I had to buy additional little trays to hold additional hard drives. And these hard drives get screwed into the tray, and then the tray itself gets screwed into the case. I was initially just going to install one hard drive, but I found another. Turns out this hard drive was dead. So I went through the trouble of hooking it up only to find out it didn't work. In order to accommodate the tight tolerances in my case, I had to purchase these 90 degree SATA to Molex connectors. This is only for the power. I was able to fit normal SATA cables back here. I didn't need to purchase the 90 degree ones. After routing the cables through the cable management ports, connect the two cables to the controller card. Upon reboot, I can see that one of the hard drives is detected in the assigned devices plugin. The other one was dead, so it was not detected. I'm now going to stop the array so that I can add this drive to my array. I'm going to change this little drop down to 4 so that I can add another data disk. Please also note that any existing data on this disk will be completely wiped. I started the array and it began to pre-clear this new disk that I had just added. It took between 6 to 7 hours to clear this new 3 terabyte hard drive that I added. 6 to 7 hours later, the new 3 terabyte drive has been cleared and is now ready to be formatted. After formatting, it gets automatically added to the new data array. And just like that, I now have a 6 terabyte array. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for tuning in to this very short video. This is one of the easiest and simplest little upgrades you can do to your Unraid server. Now it doesn't have to be an Unraid server, you can also do this to any desktop PC. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing for more videos in the future. And as always, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.